There have been so many sort of tropes and memes about Black people are this and Black people are that. That's why I'm hyper-conscious of it. Like, for example, wow. Black people eating fried chicken. Because I asked my friends and said, you know, we're going to premiere the show on Juneteenth. You think that's disrespectful? And one friend said, as long as you're not eating fried chicken and watermelon, I think you're good. Because what's the one, you know, they love fried chicken. First of all, I've been all around the world. Every culture has some form of fried chicken, like yeah. some form of it, right? I remember, I'll never forget, I was in Bangkok, Thailand, coming out of a nightclub, and a Thai woman was had an open drum, a large pot on a propane burner, frying chicken outside the nightclub. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'll be darned. And then here we are, Black people are supposed to be these big lip watermelon loving chicken eating people. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you, this is just, this is a smear campaign. So <laughs> the consciousness around ways of being as it relates to race are not, are, a, it, it relates to a consciousness of not reflecting the tropes that are out there so that you don't. Yes, those yes, associations. yes. Because what I'm trying to understand is like, if you went across the, the country, white, black, or otherwise, you would get a whole range of different cultural ways of being. And yeah. I'm not, and, 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 and I understand that professionally, there are certain norms that exist, norms that, like I said, I didn't grow up with, you know, may, or maybe to a small extent, my parents try to, you know, get me to dress up nice and at certain points in time, but it was very, very, very little. So I'm trying to, I understand that these norms, but I also think there are just lots of variation in cultural communities mm -hmm. and, and we all right. have to adapt in different ways. And, and so I'm really trying to understand, is there a black white divide here or is there just- There is one. No, there is one. So what because is- you're right. You, what, other than the tropes, are the tropes or what? All, all the other races of people with variation of cultural being and manifestation are not being showcased and denigrated as publicly as we are. So I think I'm understanding now. You, 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 there are certain cultural expressions that have derogatory associations. And then there's the general derogatory associations of how people view, mm -hmm. have viewed, or at least white racist people have viewed white people lazy or... You mean you white racist people have viewed black people? Sorry, as, white, white you, racist have viewed black people. I told my friends, criminals, stupid, and lazy. I right. told my friends. Yeah, and so what you're saying is in any way, if in any way a cultural expression either uh, played into something that was made fun of culturally or played into those general stereotypes, you and other members of the black community have felt and still feel a a motivation, a pressure to conform in a way where you won't be seen in that way. As that, they, yes, uh, that is what I'm saying. I see. What now, I what I colloquially call, because I love the way I express myself, bringing the tilly tally. The, what, the what? <laughs> the tilly tally. What is that? The tilly tally. And what the tilly tally is is your because we used to have a saying among black people. We would say so and so is proper. Like, oh, they proper. What proper meant is you showed up in such a way to be mannerable. Like you were the antithesis of what even black people maybe, maybe themselves thought about themselves, mm -hmm. all those negative tropes and negative means. Mm -hmm. So you bring your best language, you present your, you know, and when you're at your home, your best China, you make sure that you can be seen as an exemplar of a human being. Mm. Yeah, mm, do that again, mm. Mm. Not, a, not an exemplar in your profession, not an exemplar in your school, but an exemplar just as a human being. I see. That's what we carry around. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand, <laughs> I understand. So- I'm like, we, we go to work on this show. Yeah. Healing race, we go to work, because this yeah. is deep. This is really deep. I mean, I tell, I've been crying for half of this. To watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.